Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and what we have got here is a rather nice dip pen collection. Um, I'll just give you a rundown of the general outside first, it's pretty simple, a straightforward wooden box and on the label here, Victoriana box set, collector's round hand set, a complete selection of round hand nibs with dip pen holder. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory, so what we want to do is open this up. And, well, I think this is probably one of the nicest little uh, presentation box sets of anything I've ever seen. If we take that off, how is that for you? So, as you can see, we've got a selection of ten nibs there. We've got the holder there, and also the little part that clips onto the back of the nib to act as a reservoir for more ink. And, really, I suppose... I better fetch this a little bit closer to the camera for you. So, as you can see, we start with some very thick nibs up here, and then slowly, slowly, make our way down to a very thin nib up that end, and really, they're used for all sorts of different lettering, and the sort of classic calligraphy, and old fonts, and gothic writing, and all that sort of stuff, which I will show you in a moment. And in fact, I will do a couple of videos on this, and uh, I'll start with a closer look at exactly how the pen fits together. But basically, you will take obviously your pen holder out. If we pop this back down and get us back into focus. So basically, you need three parts. Obviously, the nib holder itself. You need a nib. And also, the little piece there. I'm not sure of its technical name. But basically, this slides onto the back of the nib. If I can do it just there. And what that basically allows now is that when you dip this into uh, a pot of ink, with that there, it can store more ink for writing a little bit more in one go than literally having to dip in, write with what's on the pen, and then dip in again every two uh, seconds. And then the nib itself just slides, once again, straight up into the pen. And that's pretty much as simple as it is. If I lean across, sorry, it is literally in a case of dip into your ink tub and start writing. Um, I'll just give you a quick demonstration of what the different nibs are like. But really, if we fetch this up to have a closer look here, this is fundamentally what it's all about. Like you say, it's all just a simple uh, setup. You've got your reservoir part on the back there that you're seeing. Then obviously the nib uh, there and obviously that's put into the holder. So these are just a couple of little bits I've been doing. I've only had this since Christmas, so I'm trying to regain my skills in old calligraphy. And to be honest, they weren't that great to start with. And then if we have a look at one with a smaller nib written. And you can see the basic principle of how with the wide nib you can make the thinner and thicker lines. And hopefully um, these will get better as I get down and do some proper practice with it. And here I just thought I'd show you the smallest nib and how the, with the flex that it has you can change the thickness of the line you're writing with a little bit more pressure. So that's just a simple demonstration of the nice little thin flexible nib there. So that's been a very quick look at this absolutely lovely little set here. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my videos because there's going to be a lot more on this in the future and a lot of um, tutorials and just general how to write and how I'm getting on learning how to write with one of these pens properly. Uh, feel free to like the Facebook page, feel free to follow me on Twitter, add my personal Facebook page, all that sort of stuff. Really, until the next time, have a fantastic day and I'll see you around soon. Farewell.